Hey friends, Eric Asai here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for today, we're going to be talking about this hunker of a bottle. This is a brick. This is Narciso Poudre by Narciso Rodriguez. And we're just going to be talking about the notes, about what I think it smells like. I'm going to read a few comments roasting the perfume. But let's just get into it. Um, this house, like, is like... An, like this what am i saying this like brand that makes perfumes is like really well known on like the fragrance community for their musks and i've never oh yeah i have but like i have samples which i kind of forget i have but it's known as a woody white flora and musky that's what they're saying and what I have to agree? I don't know. This scent is like... I wanted to love it more than I did. Because I thought it was going to smell like something else. And it didn't. So it kind of like put me off of it. But it's still a really good fragrance. And this... This cube will last forever. On me it does. It smells pretty. It smells very nighttime -y. Like, I want to be wearing pajamas when I wear this. But a lot of people were saying that it's like boss woman. But I was like, mm -mm, this is me going to bed. I like using this on my bed sheets. Um, I remember once I, my partner was sleeping next to me and I, I was getting ready for bed. And I sprayed one spray on this, like on me. And I was playing, uh, what was I playing? I think I was playing like... um pokemon on my switch and so i put the covers on my bed or on my head that way he like the light wouldn't like wake him up or nothing and i was getting suffocated by this and i only did one spray this is like one of like the the most beast mode sprays i have i think it's like i don't know what it is like i think it's the musk and the patchouli together that like make it monstrous on my skin um, patchouli performs really well on me, so I think that's what it is, and yeah, I feel like it's like a really good like mixture of flowers because I don't feel like, it says it has jasmine, I would even read the notes, what the heck, it has jasmine, Bulgarian rose, and orange blossom on the top notes, musk in the middle notes, and then for the base it has coumarin cedar vetiver and patchouli but it's like really good it's just good like it's like a really good it's got i don't know i feel like i'm always stuck trying to explain things it feels you know what it smells like it smells like you're sleeping on silk sheets that is what the smell that is what I envision with this. Like, you got the most raggedy sheets on your bed, just spray this and they turn into silk and then you sleep like an angel. Like, this is like what I f picture, like a bed in heaven to smell like. This is exactly it. Well, that was a pretty good description. I wanna really try the other ones. Because, like, everyone loves this house, but... And they're pretty affordable, so... I think I got this at Costco for, like, 50 bucks, and this is massive. I don't think it says how many mils I have in here, but I'm pretty sure it's, like, a hunker size. Yeah. So, it's pretty affordable, and this is, like... Ooh, I love it. I thought this was the color of the juice, but it's not the juice. It's, like, painted that color, and it's really cute. It's a really cute bottle. Alrighty. Let's see if people like it. Some people say it's a harsh. Oh wait, no. Now people are saying this is um mature. A lot of people really love this one. It has like a touch of sweetness, and I don't know where that's coming from. <laughs> I 
Someone said it's very cozy, ladylike, and gentle. Good for spring slash autumn daytime or for bedtime scents on colder nights. It's pretty legit. Yeah. It's strong, though. For me, it's, like, strong, but, like, it's good because I want a strong fragrance. It's, like, one of the strongest that I own, honestly, but that's it, guys. I will talk to you guys. Oh, did I say how much it was? 50 bucks? I got it at Costco. Okay. All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.